some really nice blue skies here. Here we are not at Hong Chow, this is uh, Ningbo and you can see they've put these fences out because they're expecting it to get super busy. This is actually the end of the last working day. What China does, it's a bit strange sometimes, you kind of work a couple of days and then get extra days off in the week. So everybody's worked Sunday and today is Monday and then that means that they get Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday off. Then Friday is supposed to be a working day, but that's shifted to the following Saturday, like a week later. And then you get that off as well. It's very strange and it can get confusing as well. It is about quarter to five. I don't think things are as busy that, as they were expecting it was going to get. But it's not really the end of the working day yet. It's not busy. Yeah, Ningbo Station, not as big or as busy as Hongqiao, and we don't have one of those little places that we can look at everybody from either. Maybe I'll uh, try up there, let's see. Things getting a bit stressful at the burger counter. Now I've got about five minutes to get down to the door, which might not sound like a lot, but it's just there, so it'll be fine. I am not going to run. So I am the 25. So gate five, we are green, we are open, of course. I've left it slightly late. Let's see, five over there. I'm actually, there is no queue. <laughs> Let me the back there. There's nobody here. Coach 14. Okay. Woo wee! <laughs> I have seen trains actually leave before time before as well. So, maybe I did indeed cut that a little finer than I should. Let's see, that's 13 there. <laughs> Lovely. Whoops. We've got 14, we've got standing room only as well. Now I need to find out which seat we're in. And there's my 5C. speed probably doing about 300 maybe even a bit more maybe even 320 smoking on the train will be recorded into the personal credit system right time to get off at Songjiang not Shanghai right. oh, I guess this way seeing as that's the there's the front of the train right there. Shang Shang Hai Song Chang. Back down this way. Oh, we can't see it. You can't see it. It was behind uh, our train. So this train is listed as the 9:39, and it's not even half past it. It's going to sit here for 10 minutes. That's weird.
Why have it sitting there for 10 minutes? I was going to watch the train go, but I'm not sitting around for 10 minutes. So, sorry, everybody. Yeah, I can see the train on the uh, timetable there. It is indeed the 7.39. What a long delay. Okay, here we go. And then hopefully we are going to be okay as well. I've noticed recently that they work as soon as you take the passport away. No? Okay, thank you. Well, shame when the system fails so badly. Ah, we've got a whole load of construction work going on here. Ha. <coughs> huh. So I'm just going to follow everybody else. It's a slightly small station. So the trip ended a little bit weirdly. No, not this guy. That one's, this is my car over here. Uh, this is the Songjiang station that I've been on my way to and it's just a complete building site. There's literally nothing here. There's no street, there's no lighting, there's no road. There's just a building site that at least cars can get to. I know it's all very dark here, but that's the lighting. Ni hao, Oh, yeah, okay, great. Right, thank you. Yeah, uh, I know you can't see me right now, but that, that's, the, that's the nature of the surroundings. So I've had to get a DD to get to Jinshan, but it's just a total, it's, it's, just, it's just a building site. Anyway, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, a, a trip that started really busy and ended up in the middle of literally nowhere. Um, I hope you enjoyed some bizarre activities there and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.